and the ever-evolving world of entertainment, few have left a mark as indelible as Richard Thomas. Born in New York City, Thomas quickly rose to prominence with his breakout role in the groundbreaking television series The Waltons, where he captivated audiences with his nuanced portrayal of John Boy Walton. Thomas's talent and dedication have earned him three Emmy Awards and a Golden Globe, as well as numerous nominations. His work extends beyond television, however, to include film, theater, and even voiceover work. On stage, Thomas has dazzled audiences with his performances in productions such as Democracy, Race, and The Little Foxes, earning him a Tony Award nomination. In film, he has appeared in classics like Winning, Red Sky at Morning, and Battle Beyond the Stars. Throughout his career, Richard Thomas has demonstrated a remarkable ability to inhabit a wide range of characters, from the innocent and introspective to the cunning and ruthless. His contributions to the entertainment industry have left an enduring legacy, one that continues to inspire and captivate audiences to this day. Richard Thomas is a well-known actor, best recognized for his role as John Boy in the TV show The Waltons. With a career spanning over five decades, he has made a significant impact in the industry. He won an Emmy Award for his performance in The Waltons at the young age of 22. Throughout his career, Thomas has shown his versatility by appearing in various TV shows, movies, and stage productions. Some of his notable works include It's a Wonderful Life, Steven Spielberg's Taken, and The Americans. We would like to know from you one. What enduring qualities do you think makes Richard Thomas an everlasting symbol of the industry? 2. Which work of Richard Thomas do you hold closest to your heart? We would also love to hear your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic star. Please share your stories and memories in the comments below. Stay tuned as we delve into some funny, shocking, and sad facts about Richard Thomas. Keep watching this video. Richard Thomas, born in New York City, is the son of ballet dancers. His mother, Barbara Follies, was a prima ballerina, and his father, Richard Thomas, was a dance teacher and actor. Thomas's parents introduced him to the world of performing arts at a young age. He started acting in school plays and community theater productions, which fueled his passion for acting. Thomas's upbringing was unconventional, with his parents' busy schedules and frequent travels. He spent a lot of time with his grandparents, who encouraged his creativity and love for storytelling. Thomas's early exposure to the arts, combined with his family's support, played a significant role in shaping his career as an actor. At the age of seven, Thomas made his Broadway debut in Sunrise at Campobolo, starring Ralph Bellamy and Greer Garson. The experience was life-changing for Thomas, who later said, it was like being struck by lightning. I knew that this was what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. Thomas's performance in Sunrise at Campobolo earned him a nomination for a Tony Award, making him one of the youngest nominees in history. Thomas's career took off in the 1970s when he starred in the groundbreaking television series The Waltons. The show, set in rural Virginia during the Great Depression, was a massive hit and made Thomas a household name. Thomas's portrayal of John Boy Walton, the intelligent and sensitive eldest son, resonated with audiences and earned him critical acclaim. Throughout his career, Thomas has worked with many influential figures in the industry, including directors and actors. One of his mentors is the legendary actor, Henry Fonda, with whom he starred in the 1973 film, Tribute. Thomas has said that working with Fonda was a masterclass in acting, and that he learned more from him in a few months than he had in years of training. In conclusion, Richard Thomas's family, upbringing, and early exposure to the arts played a significant role in shaping his career as an actor. His parents' influence, his early Broadway success, and his work with mentors like Henry Fonda have all contributed to Thomas's enduring legacy in the world of entertainment. Richard Thomas, an accomplished actor, made a significant impact on the film industry during his era and beyond. He is best known for his role as John Boy in the TV show The Waltons, which aired from 1972 to 1981. This role brought him widespread recognition and critical acclaim including an Emmy Award for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Drama Series in 1973. Thomas's contribution to Hollywood extends beyond his work on The Waltons. He has appeared in numerous films, television shows, and stage productions throughout his career. His performances have consistently demonstrated his versatility and talent as an actor, earning him a reputation as a reliable and skilled performer. In addition to his acting work, 
Thomas has been a strong advocate for the arts and has used his platform to support various charitable causes. He has also been involved in the production side of the industry, serving as a producer and director for various projects. Thomas's impact on the film industry is evident in the lasting legacy of his work. His performances have inspired and influenced countless other actors, and his contributions to the industry continue to be felt today. The simplicity and authenticity of his acting style have left a lasting impression on audiences and industry professionals alike, making him a respected and admired figure in Hollywood. Richard Thomas' passion for acting was sparked at a young age. When he was seven, his father took him to see a Broadway production of My Fair Lady. Thomas was captivated by the performance and the power of live theater. He soon began performing in school plays and community theater productions. One pivotal experience that fueled Thomas' desire to pursue acting as a career was seeing a production of Henry V at the American Shakespeare Festival in Stratford, Connecticut. He was 13 years old and deeply moved by the performance, particularly the powerful speeches delivered by the lead actor. Thomas later said, I walked out of the theater that night knowing that I wanted to be an actor. Thomas' parents were supportive of his passion for acting and encouraged him to pursue it as a career. He attended the prestigious Columbia University and studied drama, eventually making his Broadway debut in 1970 at the age of 19. Thomas' talent and dedication to his craft quickly earned him critical acclaim and a devoted following. Throughout his career, Thomas has demonstrated his versatility as an actor taking on a wide range of roles in theater, film, and television. He has received numerous accolades for his work, including a Tony Award for his performance in the Broadway production of The Effect of Gamma Rays on Man and the Moon Marigolds. Despite his many accomplishments, Thomas remains humble and dedicated to his craft. He continues to act in a variety of projects, always seeking new challenges and opportunities to grow as an artist. For Thomas, the passion for acting that was sparked in him as a child has never waned, and he continues to inspire and captivate audiences with his powerful performances. Richard Thomas is best known for his role as John Boy Walton in the popular television series The Waltons. In the pilot movie, The Homecoming A Christmas Story, all the child actors had red hair, but for the series, only some of them, like John Walmsley, Eric Scott, Mary Beth McDonough, and Kami Cotler, were natural redheads. Richard Thomas, Judy Norton, and David W. Harper returned to their natural hair color, while Michael learned, who played the mother, had her hair dyed red at first, but later changed back to her natural blonde color. When Richard Thomas left the Waltons after seven seasons to pursue a film career, he was replaced by Robert Whiteman. At that point, John Boy was dropped from the opening credits, and Whiteman was added in the closing credits under an also starring credit. Thomas had been at the top of the credits list, even before the parents, Ralph Waite and Michael learned. Richard Thomas also appeared in the horror anthology series Tales from the Crypt, playing Dr. Trask in the episode Doctor of Horror. He starred alongside Harry Anderson and Tim Curry in Stephen King's It, making him a familiar face in the horror genre. Richard Thomas, a renowned actor, faced many challenges in his early career. Born into a family of actors, he still had to fight for his place in the industry. Financial struggles were a constant obstacle, but Thomas remained determined. He took on various jobs, such as delivering newspapers and working as a janitor, to support his acting aspirations. Industry skepticism was another hurdle. Thomas's youth and inexperience led some to doubt his abilities. However, he used these doubts as motivation to hone his craft. Thomas took acting classes, studied theater history, and watched countless films to learn from the best. Thomas's resilience and creative solutions helped him overcome these obstacles. He found ways to balance his financial needs with his passion for acting. For instance, he would schedule his job hours around auditions and rehearsals. Thomas also used the skepticism he faced as fuel to become a better actor. He worked tirelessly to improve his skills and eventually won over his critics with his talent and dedication. Thomas's story is a testament to the power of perseverance and hard work. Despite the many challenges he faced, he never gave up on his dreams. Instead, he found creative solutions to overcome each obstacle and ultimately became a successful actor. Richard Thomas and his ex-wife Alma Gonzalez have four children Richard Scott Earl Francis Francisco Thomas Roman III, Barbara Ayala, Gwyneth, and Pillar Alma. 
all four kids appeared with him in commercials for Minute Maid. He also served as the host of the University of South Carolina's Ecumenical Service of the Family and introduced Pope John Paul Roman II. Additionally, he left the Waltons at the end of the fifth season due to the expiration of his five-year contract, but later made a comeback for the sixth season and the last three family television reunions. Richard Thomas had several breakthrough moments in his career. His role as John Boy Walton in The Waltons brought him widespread recognition and critical acclaim. This groundbreaking project significantly impacted his career, earning him praise from peers, critics, and collaborators. Additionally, Thomas's work in various theater productions, such as Tiny Alice and The Fifth of July, showcased his versatility and talent, further solidifying his reputation as a respected actor. Richard Thomas, best known for his role as John Boy Walton in the popular TV series The Waltons, made a bold move at the age of 21 by demanding top billing over more seasoned actors Ralph Waite and Michael Learned. His demand was granted, marking a significant milestone in his career. Thomas later left the show to pursue a career in movies. One of his earliest roles was in the big-budget sci-fi flop, Battle Beyond the Stars. Despite the film's failure, Thomas continued to establish himself in the industry. In his personal life, Richard Thomas has one son, Montana James, with his second and current wife, Georgiana Biscoff. The couple welcomed their son on July 28, 1996. Thomas's dedication to his craft and personal life has been unwavering, making him a respected figure in the entertainment industry. Richard Thomas is an actor known for his emotional depth and naturalistic style. He approaches his work by thoroughly researching each character, often finding inspiration in the writings and experiences of real people. Thomas' unique style involves fully embodying his characters, allowing their emotions and motivations to guide his performances. Personal experiences and worldview play a significant role in Thomas' work. He has been open about how his upbringing and values have influenced his career, often choosing roles that explore complex moral issues and human emotions. Thomas' approach to acting is deeply introspective, and he has spoken about the importance of vulnerability and empathy in his work. Thomas' style is characterized by his ability to convey subtle emotions and complex inner struggles. He has a talent for bringing nuance and depth to his characters, often making them feel deeply relatable and human. Whether on stage or screen, Thomas' performances are marked by their authenticity and emotional resonance. Throughout his career, Richard Thomas has demonstrated a commitment to artistic excellence and a deep understanding of the human condition. His unique approach to acting, rooted in research, vulnerability, and empathy, has made him a respected and beloved figure in the world of theater and film. In February 2007, Richard Thomas opened in the play Twelve Angry Men in Dallas, co-starring with George Wendt. Then, in May 2009, he starred in a production of Terence McNally's Unusual Acts of Devotion at the La Jolla Playhouse, alongside Doris Roberts and Harriet Sansom Harris. Additionally, Richard Thomas played John Boy Walton in The Waltons, and earlier worked with Ralph Waite in the film Last Summer, where they portrayed a father-son relationship. Richard Thomas has made a significant contribution to the entertainment industry through his versatile performances and dedication to storytelling. His work in television, film, and theater has inspired many aspiring actors and has influenced the way stories are told on screen. Industry experts and peers have praised Thomas for his ability to bring depth and authenticity to his roles, shaping the way future generations approach acting and storytelling. Richard Thomas is known for his versatile acting abilities, as showcased in his role as Peter in the 2012 screening of Last Summer in Los Angeles. Co-star Barbara Hershey revealed that the cast, including Bruce Davison and Thomas, had minimal bonding off-screen due to the director's focus on character development. Thomas also played Bill Denver in the miniseries It, where the character's red hair and balding head were changed to brown hair with a long ponytail. Despite this departure from the novel's description, Thomas's performance was well received. In 1990, Thomas was honored with the Drama Log Award for outstanding performance for his role in the Lisbon Traviata at the Mark Taper Forum Theater in Los Angeles, California. This recognition highlights his talent and dedication to his craft. Outside of his professional life, Richard Thomas is known for his commitment to philanthropic efforts and causes. He is passionate about supporting various charitable organizations, especially those focused on education, healthcare, and the arts.
Thomas's personal values of compassion and empathy shine through in his dedication to giving back to the community. His interests in social issues and advocacy work often influence the roles he chooses and the stories he tells, reflecting his desire to make a positive impact both on and off the screen. Richard Thomas is known for his role as Peter in the movie Last Summer, where he was joined by co-star Ralph Waite, who would later play his father again in The Waltons. Thomas's time on The Waltons was initially set for the first five seasons, and he made guest appearances even after his character, John Boy Walton, was taken over by Robert Whiteman. Interestingly, some cast members, including Thomas, Michael Learn, and John Walmsley, began the show with pronounced Southern accents, which they later dropped as the series progressed. This change in accent added to the show's authenticity and allowed the characters to become more relatable to their audience. Richard Thomas is a well-respected actor, known for his role in The Waltons and his work on stage. His legacy includes a long and varied career with many memorable performances. He has shown the value of dedication, hard work, and versatility in the acting industry. Looking ahead, Thomas continues to seek out new and challenging roles. He remains passionate about his craft and is always looking for ways to grow and improve. He envisions his future contributions as a means to inspire and teach aspiring actors, sharing his knowledge and experience. For those starting out in the acting field, Thomas offers this advice, stay true to yourself. Be prepared to work hard and never stop learning. He emphasizes the importance of humility, reminding aspiring professionals that there is always something new to discover and master. Thomas also encourages them to be patient and persistent, as success often comes gradually and requires determination. In essence, Richard Thomas's legacy and future contributions serve as a testament to his enduring passion for acting and his commitment to the arts. His advice for aspiring professionals reflects his belief in the power of hard work, dedication, and continuous learning. Richard Thomas is best known for his role as John Boy Walton in the popular television series The Waltons. In an interview, Thomas noted that the character of John Boy was unique for the time, representing a new kind of sensitive male lead. This departure from typical television characters was evident in scenes where John Boy would quote poetry to his mother. In addition to his work on The Waltons, Thomas has also had a successful film career. He starred as Bill Denbra in the 1990 miniseries at, alongside Richard Master, who had previously worked with Thomas in the system. Thomas is also known for his political activism and is a lifelong Democrat. He is not afraid to use his platform to advocate for causes he believes in, further solidifying his status as a respected figure in the entertainment industry. Overall, Richard Thomas has had a long and successful career in television and film with his nuanced and sensitive portrayals leaving a lasting impact on audiences. Richard Thomas, an accomplished actor, is known for his diverse roles and enduring impact on the entertainment industry. His passion for acting began at a young age and has since led him to a successful career spanning over six decades. Thomas has consistently pushed boundaries and brought innovation to his craft earning him numerous accolades and the respect of his peers. From his breakthrough role in The Waltons to his Tony-winning performance in Richard Roman III, Thomas has shown his versatility and commitment to his art. He has also made his mark in film, television, and on stage, leaving an indelible impact on the entertainment industry. Thomas's contributions to the industry extend beyond his on-screen work. He is also a dedicated advocate for the arts, using his platform to support and promote the work of emerging artists. His passion for the arts and his commitment to fostering new talent is a testament to his enduring impact on the industry. Thomas's journey serves as a reminder of the power of creativity and perseverance. His ability to continually innovate and push boundaries has allowed him to leave a lasting mark on the entertainment industry. His story is a reminder that with hard work and dedication, anyone can achieve their dreams and make a meaningful impact on the world. Richard Thomas is known for his role as Peter in the film Last Summer and as John Boy Walton in the television series The Waltons. He worked alongside Catherine Burns and Bruce Davison in The Waltons, and later in the 90s, they co-starred in the legal drama The Practice. Both Richard Thomas and Bruce Davison appeared on Law and Order Special Victims Unit in the 2000s and the streaming crime drama Ozark in the 2010s. In the horror film, Richard Thomas played the character Bill Denver. 
The adult cast included five famous actors from iconic television, shows Tim Reed from WKRP in Cincinnati, John Ritter from Three's Company, Harry Anderson from Night Court, Michael Cole from Mod Squad, and Richard Thomas from The Waltons. Richard Master, who co-starred in the first season of One Day at a Time, also appeared in it. We'd love to hear your thoughts on the talented actor Richard Thomas and the memorable roles he's played throughout his career. Whether you remember him from The Waltons or his work on stage and screen since then, share your favorite memories and how his performances have touched you. If you enjoy this content, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Your support helps us continue to create and carry pieces that celebrate the artists who have shaped the entertainment industry. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content celebrating the creative spirits that have left their mark on the world of entertainment. Together, let's appreciate the work of these remarkable individuals and the legacy they've left behind.